say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming had the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that I want to thank you all for being here again on this very special day. Yesterday, our country celebrated Veterans Day, which began on 11-11-19, known as Armistice Day. And it's been celebrated every year since then. It's one of the most meaningful and special holidays we celebrate as a community and a nation. I am very proud and happy that we are able to dedicate this beautiful garden here today. And it's my sincere hope that this becomes an annual event and this becomes an area where we come and celebrate veterans and all our thanks for them on a regular basis. Look to your right, your left, and up here, you see American heroes. You can thank them for their service and we thank all of you for coming here to honor them. Almighty Creator, today we come before you with deepest gratitude in our hearts for the gifts you give us each day. Family, loved ones, good friends, laughter, and our greatest jobs in the service of our country. Our outfit disbanded overseas, but we set up a, a 41st Division Association. And for the last 73 years, we have met every year in a reunion where we have told old war stories. They get better every year. <laughs> when we served, we took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, past and present, and that we bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I'm particularly passionate that we always honor our comrades in arms who have paid the ultimate sacrifice, guaranteeing us the rights and freedoms that we enjoy today. We're very appreciative of having an event like this in the very West Valley because uh, this is the first one. Uh, there's, a, there's a few small places dedicated throughout the valley, but not out in this area. And so we really appreciate having this kind of an event permanently out here where the people in Calabasas and the people in the West Valley can come. The flag represents the very embodiment of what it means to be in the military. It's how we I mean, you could ask any military man or woman, what most represents your service on an ongoing basis? And they're not gonna say boots or uniforms or weapons or, that's not gonna come into play. It's gonna be old glory. History will never write my obituary, for I am the stars and stripes forever. I'm old glory, I'm your flag, I am you. Now, we just sit there, God will forgive us for not standing up. Let's declare, oh glory, the greatest symbol of the finest nation that ever was on the face of this earth. <laughs>